Good morning to you. It is Monday, January 2nd. I'm Teo Torres. Here's a look at the big stories we're following today. Dozens of rescues took place across the Sacramento region after heavy rain and strong wind caused flooding and knocked out power for over 100,000. Highway 99 along Dillard Road in South Sacramento County saw a lot of flooding as well. These pictures show it all. Sacramento County officials declared a local state of emergency and are continuing to collect damage estimates right now. Well, we are drying out uh, for a good portion of today, right, Eileen? Yeah, the rain is going to return some this afternoon, but it'll be light to moderate and nothing like we had over the weekend. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, the rain totals were just so impressive. From Thursday to Sunday, we had more than three inches of rain in a lot of valley locations, more than a half foot of rain in many foothill spots. Placerville seeing more than 10 inches of rain at the airport there in those three days. And check out Blue Canyon. Nearly a foot of rain fell between Thursday, Friday, Friday and Saturday into the overnight to Sunday. So quite impressive with these rain totals. So of course, yes, there's still a lot of water around and a lot of cleanup to do. Most of the water that's now still moving through Sacramento County into the uh, uh, Point Pleasant area should be uh, decreasing as we go through the day today. So yes, this next weather system is on tap, bringing in some light rain for today. There's more activity out here in the Pacific, and we're going to be focusing on that on this four o'clock hour as to how much rain we're going to likely see come this week because it is going to be a pretty busy week, Teo, we think, coming up. So the rain likely getting here by midday. The morning time is the dry time with mostly cloudy skies. All right. Good to know. Thank you, Eileen. Sacramento police investigating the city's first homicide of 2023. Police say a shooting happened around 1.30 yesterday afternoon near Franklin Boulevard and Florin Road. One man was pronounced dead at the scene. Detectives are working now to determine what led up to it. Police have not released any information about the victim or a suspect at this time. This morning, actor Jeremy Renner is hospitalized in critical but stable condition after being injured while plowing snow in Reno. Washoe County Sheriff says the actor's traumatic injury happened at 9 o'clock yesterday morning. They say he was care flighted to an area hospital. He's currently with his family as he receives care. As many know, he is a Modesto native.